So this is how you set up Gladius EX to work with Gladius. A lot of people ask me, how do you do this, Troy? And how do you do it? It's, it's fairly simple, but it's a little bit of a trick. So first off, you have to download these two applications. First, of course, you need Gladius, which is what you see oops, right here, Gladius. Everyone knows Gladius, right? You get Gladius. I put it right here. You can put it wherever you want. Now, the next add-on you need is Gladius EX right here, Gladius EX. That is what you see right here, Gladius EX. Now, this is, this is really easy. You don't have to do anything with Gladius, but you go to Gladius EX. You pretty much go to Arena. You bring this down. Now you're going to see all this crap open that you don't need. You're pretty much going to go to Announcements. You're going to disable it. You're going to disable everything. Your class icons, your DR tracker, the health bar, your highlights, your power bar, your skill history, your text tags. The only thing you're not going to disable is your cooldowns because that's what you want. That's what you're using this application for, this add-on. Now, we're going to leave that there. Uh, one thing you're also going to want to disable is the party frames. You don't need that. So I'll close out of this. This is what you should be left with. You'll see just the add-ons. Now, there is some other crap here, as you can see, that you want to get rid of. Now, what I do, you go back to Gladius EX in here. First thing you're going to do is go to General. Now, you're going to change the background. Oh, wait, that's the wrong one, sorry. Uh, General, is this the one? Sorry, I'm lost now. Right here somewhere. There it is, right here, General and Unit Frames. You're going to just make this, you're going to put it to to whatever that is, negative zero, that means no color at all. That will get rid of the black background. The other thing I like to do, it comes with default two groups. I like to disable group two, so remove this group. That's gonna leave you with this right here. Now you can drag this and put this underneath, just like that. You can also format it a little bit if it doesn't fit. I also make my Gladius actually a little bit bigger than the default. So by you can just type forward slash Gladius to bring this up. And you can actually make the bottom margin a little bit bigger. So that gives you a little bit more room to add the cooldowns in. But that's really all you have to do. And you can also go to Gladius EX. And if you want to really make it perfect, you want to make it like I, I'm pretty anal about it. Anal. Um, you can also, let me see if I can find it here for you. Uh, group them, you can ungroup them. So that way you can drag them separately. So if you really want to make it exact, here, I'll even bring these down. Just don't get them confused. Put it here. Here, I'll just put Gladius here for now. Drag that one there. Drag that one there. And drag that one there. So that, that's all it is. It's, it's, it's super easy, as I was saying. That way, when you're in arenas, you can see the enemy's cooldowns. It's, it's a kind of a trick, but again, as you can see, it's fairly easy. So uh, try that out, and hopefully that helps you out.